do. We've got to fight back a bit. Have we got to this fight back, Alan? Mad today. They've decided. He just said, "This has drove me mad today." I bet it fucking has. I bet it has. I'm in Portugal. Not Portugal, Malta. Because they know nothing about poker, right? I, I'm a, I used to be a professional poker player. I was in the well, US top 20. Well. Okay. I'm not playing poker at the moment because I'm spending all my money defending. Do you remember uh, I said earlier about Dark Side Phil as well? It's so incredible to me. For anyone that understands Phil, there might not be a lot of you here in chat, but for anyone that does, um, this man, he was top 20 in Europe one year of poker. It's like his Evo moment. He's number four at Evo, don't count the Europeans. He's like... he's. He, He's got this in his body. He had a bit of luck on a poker table once. And that's how poker works. It's one of these like clever scams where the game itself scams you in. Like anybody that plays for long enough will have a bit of luck sometimes. That's cards. And then if you ride that luck well, you win a little bit of money. Oh, I won like £100,000. Or I won like £50,000. It's not I'm a millionaire and I'm like winning poker all the time and I'm like at the top of the tree and I'm a professional. It's that I had a bit of luck once after putting in hundreds of thousands of pounds myself and pissing it all up the wall once I had a bit of a hit. <laughs> myself against the man who's trying to sue me, okay? So I'm not playing poker. I haven't played since Christmas. You're not playing poker. You haven't played since Christmas. What are we in now? April. January, February, March, April, four months. How many poker tournaments do you want to go to internationally, Alan? Christmas, and then what? Spring, then maybe summer, then when, like maybe three, maybe it's normal to just wait a few months before you earn enough money so you can go and play more. <laughs> well, I haven't got a gambling addiction. I haven't done that since what last week, really. So I decided I am. I think you so did. So if they're prepared to lie about this. Uh, lying about it is different from suggesting that you probably have done something we're trying to find out if you have that's different from saying a lie it's a lie about anything Lizzie Idaho Taylor makes videos about me she has people on there that says I have children that I'm not allowed to see because I didn't do child support she makes all sorts of lies about how much, how much I earn she's a complete liar okay he's going to slate this woman because she's one of these detractors calling into account and she's put my life in danger no life in danger. All the time. She's done a show tonight using old moderators who lie about me. One mm. of them who stole £2,000 off our other moderators. And if there's a moderator in here... What's happening now is the gaslighting has begun. You're getting confused. He's telling you that Lizzie's the problem, but it's this other moderator and this other woman stole 200 And it's all confusion and smokescreen. No, I won't say who it is that knows exactly what the woman's done to her fellow moderators. So don't believe a word they say, right? No receipts. That's Lizzie Hilo Taylor. She just takes anything and runs with it. And she's decided that I'm in Malta. I said this at the start. I think this is a little bit of a shame for Lizzie because um, she made a mistake about one of these websites. I actually looked at it and said, oh, that looks realistic. Festival dates, rankings. He's obviously re registered. That's why they've ranked everyone and registered to go with the festival. It might just be that it's the rankings on the website from ages ago. So he is right here. This party is right about. Right. Why she decided that? Because she's been given this. Alan Vinicum is in Malta, 714th. Good ranking. Seven, Good ranking. 114th, Alan Vinicum. Top 20 in Europe. Well, that's because I'm, I'm, I'm number 714 in the rankings. Is that because you weren't allowed to do it anymore? Because uh, if you did win big at poker, it's going to have a problem with that tax problem you've got, isn't it? Do you remember when you got done by the government for the tax that you're not allowed to own a business and operate a business and all that? What are you going to do with the money? You'd almost have to think you'd have to launder it in some way. In Malta. That's my position. Good. Don't mean to say I'm there. That position would be 714 tomorrow and last year and the year before. That's not me entering a poker tournament. All right. Look at the things, look. I'm getting... You look at... Look here you see up and down, right? So he's going up the rankings. He's going down the rankings. See how mad this is making him. I'm static. But they've, they've took this as that I'm in Malta. It's, it's ranking raining point. again. I couldn't be happier. Nothing Please. to do with playing. You... <laughs> it's raining again. Why didn't it read that? I couldn't be happier. Play Gain a centipede. He's counting In number 23 at you know. XX, Super Chucker owes five hugs. He did it in a different voice there. That was weird. That was interesting. He's counting cards with Rain Man. Thank you for the tippies. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That is Rain Man on my, on my voice box. 
because you'd be in jail. Thank you both for the tippies. I don't know why it didn't. It showed up like you know like that, and it didn't. It's not come up in chat as well because usually it comes up in chat as well. Weird though, but yeah, thanks. A little bit of information. Uh, dangerous. Of modern my mum's sake. A little so information. the thing is here, right? And I will I will attest to this. Uh, that little mistake that that one person made, because it, uh, what you call confirmation bias, I already thought he was in Malta. I already thought he would go to Malta. I already thought that if we just looked hard enough, we would, we would catch him there. And he assumed we wouldn't be able to, once I'm in Malta, they can't touch me. And he had no idea that I would be able to get a freelancer to turn up at the hotel within like, you know, like that. Um, so, and, and that's not illegal. You know, my freelancer can cover the poker tournament. I think that's fine. Yeah, so he had no idea that we could catch him out like that, but he's got this thing that was a little mistake. I think it was confirmation bias by me to see this and go, oh, look, there he is, ranked, listed. Okay, I should have said, can I look into this? Can you show me the website? And then I should have confirmed for myself, and I'd have probably said, oh, no, you might have a little bit of a mistake there. It's just a, but that's fine. It is dangerous in the wrong hands. We all make mistakes. This doesn't mean to say I'm in Malta. This means I'm ranked. Okay, but it doesn't mean you're not in Malta. You see the up and down rankings. It doesn't mean you're not in Malta. Minus 20. It means they've got nine. you on the list. Now, they, with this, they've run with that, and they've picked an hotel for me I'm staying at. No one did and that. they told you where I am, and they're telling you to go and see me. Where I am. In other words, destroy me. Do whatever you want to do for me. You've got to remember, they incite hatred, and now they're saying a hotel I'm in. What if I was there? What if I was in that hotel? So now, again, this language, remember we do the, we do body language and we also do statement analysis on Super Chuffer channel. So what if I was there? I was there. I was in that hotel. He can't help it. I think he really was. I actually think he was. They don't care because I'm not human. Slug, slug I, man. I have to be destroyed. And here you are, here's me in the uh, Smiths today with today's newspaper in England. They're nowhere, anywhere near Malta. This is today's paper. If you've got the mirror, you can see it. Mm. There you can see Smith drawing pads today. Proves it. That proves it, obviously, doesn't it? Your Honour, Exhibit A. <laughs> that proves it. Just quickly, this is Bristol Airport. If I just quickly Google up uh, say Bristol Airport W H Smith. Just say, just let's just say I quickly googled that up, and then there's a picture of it, and it's only one small picture, but you can see it's got those lights in the it's roof. Raining again. I couldn't be happier. Swish, Grandmaster Sid Sophos sent tippies. Sot, I just finished work. <laughs> I thought we were off to Malta. Super th Chuffer owes three hugs. I thought he were, but it turned out he pussied it and came home instead. This is WH Smith at the airport. It's only a very little picture, but you can see it's got those strip lights. It goes back in a line. It's got those advertising things in those lines, much like most WH Smith stores do. Yeah, much like they do. They have it at the airport. So if you were to wake up on Tuesday, having shit your pants all Monday night because they're trolls have caught you, you're on the picture, you're on the internet, and then you've gone to the airport and you've flown home. You could, in Malta, it's, it's basically Great Britain. It's, it's a, a colony of Britain. So they have WH Smith in the airport in Malta as well, I imagine, and they've got the, the newspapers everywhere. But if you flew home, the first thing you could do is walk into WH Smith and get the newspaper and photograph yourself with it. So what Armchair Detective has done here is his first piece of evidence that for me, because he's used it so badly, if I was to say I'm in Western Supermare, here's the paper, I'd be in Western Supermare, and here's the paper. But what he's done is he said, I'm in WH Smith. And that, I mean, look at the level of the man. Look at the intelligence of the man. There's the lighting. That's the same ceiling. So it could be that Smith's that I'm telling you is in the airport. It could be the, the other one, right? The other one, the Western Supermare one. How many WH Smiths are in Western Supermare? Western Supermare. WH Smith. Let's have a look. One. Just the one. That doesn't seem right, does it? No, just the one, yeah? And where is it? Is it right down on the waterfront? Yeah, it's right down there on the, on the water. You have to go in this shopping centre thing. Uh, there's a picture of it here. So it comes through into the shopping centre thing. That's the old storefront. Uh, it might have a very similar interior, but it's not quite the same, is it? You see how it's got the bigger lights and the 
bigger lights and things because it's a bit more of a like you know bigger store in, in a way than this one which has just got those those things that are just strips with the words on and the picture that alan showed us hasn't got the big light things it's just got the strips with the words on so it's more like the one at the airport and then again if you go wh smith like this is just armchair detective i'm just an armchair detective but if you go wh smith western super mayor which is the only one that's near it's to him. Again. I couldn't be happier. Grandmasters did Sophos St. Tippies. St. Julian's Bay Hotel Portomaso Casino Malta. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. That is indeed the advertised hotel for the poker festival, which you get as part of your package. If you buy a ticket to the poker festival, you stay in that hotel as part of your package. Everyone can find that out. Uh, it's on their website, so uh, it's not like anybody's doxed Alan. Uh, if you go look at this WH Smith, though, there's something. There's a feature about this WH Smith in Western Supermare, which is that the old style one with the old strip lights and like old style one that's been done away with, with its big coloured like. Look how it's got big light up. It's got big light up uh, signage that's been done away with, and they put in a more traditional looking shop front to it. It was like a, a story that happened recently. It was like renovated, so to speak. So I don't know if it's got the same lighting inside you know i'm not telling you what's inside wh smith in western supermare but it's possible it's it's possible that it has a different lighting and, and display setup to the one at the airport isn't it because we've just seen a picture that it used to have a different one and now it's been renovated so i'd expect it to look even better the one at the airport just looks like that one at the airport with the lighting so let's go back to alan right, i'm just doing a bit of armchair detectiving aren't i just me, just doing a bit of armchair detectiving. There's him proving factually, conclusively that he's in England on Tuesday because he's got the newspaper next to his face, which is something you might choose to do. You might choose to get the actual date on the newspaper and he's in Smith's somewhere and we've got a very small corner of it. But thankfully, Alan has proved that it hasn't got the light up hasn't got the light up, uh, you know, it says pad, stationary pads, hasn't got the light up displays it's just got the little is, is that in the airport has alan woken up in malta shitting his pants got a cheap flight which we said at the start of the episode 80 quid back in england in hours just late enough to start his show two hours later than he normally does just late enough to start his show two hours later than he normally does as he managed to get off the airport just late enough to get home probably about 10 to 10 start his show a bit later than he normally does is that what's happened because he's only had enough time to quickly take a photograph in Smith's. It's raining again. I couldn't be happier. Swish. Paul's attic Emma's lips sent tippies. Alan, the detective, very protective, taking from Phyllis and Mary makes him wary that people are forcing his hand, which is crumbling like sand. Should he be banned? A lick of his lips has taking old Granny's tips. So if we're in a court of Granny's more... with no hips money for his poker chips. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. The raps are coming out now. The raps are coming out. I love it. Um, if uh, if you're in a court of law, and this is Alan's case, and he's holding this up as a piece of evidence to say, I've not been to Malta, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to say, thanks very much. I'm going to put that in my case as circumstantial evidence to say that you did, because this is a picture of you in the Smiths at the airport. Prove it's not. Because I say, for me, and it's up to the judge. You're the judge at home, aren't you? You're the jury. It's up to you. But I think that these don't have the light-up signs, and I think that the more modern Smiths that got renovated probably doesn't have the same shitty lights in the roof in this. And you can see in the reflection of Alan's glasses that in the roof there's two sets of lights and they're a strip, and they just go straight down. Two sets and they're a strip. And I've actually been able to also confirm that by finding these pictures of WH Smith, yeah, the Western Supermare one now, and trying to find a picture of the ceiling of the inside of that WH Smith in Western Supermare. And I think we can actually find, at some point, just the barest bones. And I don't know if it's worth me... I, sp I spent a little time last night looking at this. Um, they've got more... Even the old one has got more than one set of lights at the top. It's got four sets. You can see that one, two, three, four. It's only little, but you can see it, yeah? And if the new one has got... like It's a wider roof. It doesn't have that same layout as, as is reflected in Alan's glasses. But the one at the airport does. So that's my case for why that is circumstantial evidence that proves that Alan came back and was in the airport and not in Western Supermare on the seafront. Because if you want to go, remember this as well. Remember this. This is part of my case. <laughs> I love detectoring. It's loads of fun, isn't it, Alan? I should do more. Um, if you go to maps, Western Supermare, and there's one on the seafront there. So bear that in mind. That's going to come into our case again in a little minute. It's location. Because we're suggesting that Alan on his Monday 
so Tuesday or whatever, has decided to go to WH Smith there. If he wants to prove his innocence, he's got to have a photograph with the newspaper. And in order to do that, he's decided to go there, which I would guess is a busy shopping, you know. I don't know why he's not gone to his local spa shop or whatever. The newspapers are everywhere. For Alan, it's a trip to WH Smith to get that newspaper shot. And then he hasn't gone outside and stood on the Grand Pier and said, this is me on the Grand Pier with the newspaper, which would seem like the logical step, wouldn't it? So, you know, you make up your own mind. I'm not treating you like idiots. I'm saying these are my evidences, my ideas. And Alan's saying these are his evidences and his ideas. And it's up to you to make up your own mind up here. There you can see Smith drawing pads today. That's what Alan's done. I've done that other bit with the map and the, the lights and the reflection in the glasses and all that. Alan's done Smith's drawing pads today. Yeah. 